Yo, what's going on guys? So listen, right now I'm on the way to work with gospel music artist Jonathan McReynolds. Yesterday we were in LA and I was photographing the promo shoot for the One Hallelujah tour with Erica Campbell, Tasha Cobbs, Ja'Kalen Carr, Jonathan McReynolds, and the one and only Israel Holton. And today I'm in Dallas. We needed some last minute photos with Jonathan. So I'm heading to Arlington to go and get those photos. So. Yo, so we're at the studio, just finished setting up the equipment and I'm using a two light setup. We're using a parabolic softbox along with the softbox at the bottom. Both of them are pointed up and down at a 45 degree angle. What this allows is this being the main source of light. Whenever this flashes and whatever the light fall off happens from this, the secondary light down here counteracts with that and makes that up and cleans up the neck and all those shadows and under the eye where it may not look so pretty. And this is where I'm gonna show you how I set up for tethering. For the system, I use Capture One. Capture One is a software that I can take photos from my camera and they automatically upload to the Capture One software on my computer. It's great to be able to allow clients to be able to see work on the go. You can plug it to a external TV or you can place it on your iPad, your iPhones, and it just gives you a bigger screen to look at other than you know, showing the back of a camera. Camera, 4K video, which is perfect. Using a Godox flash trigger to make it shake. Also within that, I'm gonna be using my 70 to 200 from Sony. Within this, I'm gonna create a new session. Jonathan McReynolds. It's whenever I take my camera, and I'll give you an example. I'll take the camera, and I will photograph the setup right here, okay? So as soon as I take that, it automatically goes onto the computer and you can see what I captured within this. Pretty much done with what we're going to get. I'm thinking about maybe adding two V-flats right here just to shape light a little more and kind of take that fall off or well, that spill that's coming from the main sources of light right here off so it will fall off the background and it will go darker. We maneuvered this off the ground and placed it onto a C-stand with the boom and that allowed me to be able to have the flexibility to move it up and down and adjust once he's here and kind of, you know, get repeated shots of the same consistently consistency of light. It looks pretty good in here though. Can't even lie, that's a really great gradient. So I also decided to utilize two V-flats from V-flat World. And I wanted to kind of control that light that will be coming out of this larger light source and darken this. And yes, I could have played along with, you know, just moving him in different um, distances, but just to go ahead and knock the job out, I found this to be a lot more easier to just so keep, yeah, key on out here too. Getting it done, man. Came back to Dallas to come to Clear Scope. Shoot John. It went really well though. We knocked it out in less than an hour. I'm excited though. Get ready for the one Hallelujah tour. We out here. Yeah. 